30 years. So why don't you do what old men do and die? Why don't you just take your little gun out between your legs and do it? Boy. First time I saw the preview in the theater, both my husband and I were like, is that, is that Joseph Gordon-Levitt? Well, to me, that's really the highest compliment you can pay to an actor. My favorite performances are the ones where the, the actor disappears and, and you don't see the actor, you just see the character that they're playing. The makeup certainly helps. A little bit. Yeah. In the sci-fi thriller Looper, Joseph Gordon-Levitt plays a hitman whose targets come from the future, sent back in time by the mob to be killed. One of those targets ends up being himself, 30 years older, played by Bruce Willis. I mean, it seems like it would be a fine line where you don't necessarily want to do an impression. That's exactly right. He's a, a great guy and a great actor, but he's completely different than the character that sure. we're playing, you know. Sorry, down into your eyes. It's too strange. And your face looks backwards. Bruce Willis is, uh, while I'm sure he could be a very accomplished gangster, <laughs> uh, is, is not one, right. you know. Why are we, as a people, so seduced by this idea of time travel? Good question. I guess probably because it's impossible. <laughs> uh, you know, time just marches on mercilessly. Would you go back and change anything in your own life if you could? No. You know, I, I, uh, I'm very lucky and grateful to be exactly where I'm at right now. And uh, I, I, I don't believe in regrets. And so I think you got to take the ups with the downs and um, just say thanks. And action! Joe's co-star is British actress and friend Emily Blunt. Well, he was a stranger to me during the day and unrecognizable. And then at night, we go to the local Chili's, which is about the only restaurant that was there in sight. And um, he'd be Joe, and he'd be goofing off and bouncing around. And so it was lovely, actually. I got to meet two different people. <laughs> so I read that you called this the coolest movie you've ever worked on, with yes. all due respect to The Muppets, obviously. And, Qu and Young Victoria. Yes. <laughs> you, sta <laughs> you stand by the statement? Um, I think it probably is the coolest, yeah. Because it's just so rare and unique and kind of stunning. It's hard to talk a little bit about the crux of the film. Because my character's involved in all the sort of twists, and thank right. you for not spoiling anything, because that would be a shame. We could just bleep out this entire part of the interview. Great. I'm gonna fix this! I'm gonna find it! I'm gonna kill it! Without spoiling any of the unexpected twists, it's safe to say Looper explores the ultimate struggle with oneself, leaving audiences to think and feel long after the credits roll. If you want to just go and enjoy a banging action flick, you can do that, and it's really fun. But if you're interested in, in having a more profound conversation about it afterwards, having something to think about as the days go on after you've seen the movie, uh, this movie's, you know, it's got something to offer.